Hello, and welcome to our introduction to V-Ray for Cinema 4D. In this guide, we'll show you how to get the software set up so you can start rendering. We'll follow this video with more in-depth tutorials on lighting and materials, so make sure you check those out as well. Now that we have installed V-Ray for Cinema 4D, let's set up the project to use it as our render engine and choose a resolution for our images. We can create our own toolbar using Cinema 4D's palettes and save it so we can load it up whenever we want. Let's just dock it right here. Let's try to find an interesting angle using the default viewport camera. Once we're happy with the camera angle, simply press the V-Ray physical camera button to create one at that exact location. From the physical camera tag, we have access to our field of view and to our exposure settings. The easiest way to shine a light into our scene is to add a sunlight. If we choose the sun and sky icon on the toolbar, we will create both and automatically link the two. In order to preview the current setup, let's use the interactive rendering and start it from its toolbar icon. Controlling the direction of our sun is easily done right from the viewport. To adjust its remaining parameters, such as intensity and size, we can simply open V-Ray's Light Lister and navigate to the Sunlights tab. To build up our scene, we can rely on Chaos Cosmos assets. With its extensive library of materials, HDRI, and high-quality 3D models, it is as simple as a single click to have them ready to render in your scene. Furthermore, we have complete control over the look and feel of the assets, and we can easily modify and adjust them. To further enhance your rendered image, we can turn on V-Ray's Aerial Perspective effect, which has a fast and easy way to add depth to our image. Let's change the visibility range and height values just so we can get an idea of its impact on the overall look and feel. Now that we've set up the project, we can move on to actually rendering it. Until now, we were using the interactive renderer, and for our final image, we need to start a production render either from the V-Ray menu or from our custom toolbar. V-Ray's frame buffer is so much more than a preview window for your renders. So we can easily adjust our final look by adding adjustment layers and even entirely change its look and feel. And finally, we can save our image in any file format we'd like. Now you should have V-Ray for Cinema 4D up and running and ready to render. Stay tuned for videos on how to set up lighting and materials.